Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Robert Crane. He is co-founder and CEO at Talkiatry. And we also have Dr. Georgia Gaveras. She is co-founder and chief medical officer at Talkiatry. So it's wonderful to have you here, Robert, Georgia. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Georgia, tell me about Talkiatry. So Talkiatry is one of the largest employers of psychiatrists in the country. We operate completely virtually and on a network basis. Since our launch in April of 2020, we've completed over 1.3 million patient visits, and we're super excited to continue to do that. And what makes you unique? Well, I think our focus on psychiatrists, our medical providers, it definitely makes us unique. And um, our focus on providing in-network care and our eventual shift to value-based care is something that we're extremely excited about. It's a new venture in uh, behavioral health, and it's something we're, we're very excited about. So, Robert, now, you recently announced Series C. Um, what will you be using this funding for? That's a great question. So, Talk Archer is going to continue to grow our core business, which is hiring physicians and making sure they're accessible to uh, patients across the country. I think we have a strategic focus on moving into value-based care. We want to make sure that we have the capital base to be able to support that initiative, which generally has not really been done successfully in behavioral health before. And then separately, uh, we're also going to continue to expand referral relationships and partnerships with major uh, health systems throughout the country. So Tokaitri recently announced a partnership with HCA nationwide, and so we're going to continue to put our efforts into making sure that we can close the care gap between primary care providers, specialists, and behavioral health providers. And Georgia, tell me, how is Takayatri ensuring high quality treatment while expanding access to care for vulnerable populations across the country? So the thing about psychiatry is that there are a lot of specialties within psychiatry, right? When you meet a psychiatrist, you ask what type of psychiatrist they are. So um, there are only about 40,000 board certified psychiatrists in the country right now. But when you look at subspecialties like child and adolescent psychiatry, there are fewer than 20,000 board certified child and adolescent psychiatrists in the country. Um, and when you look at geriatric populations, there are fewer than 2,000 active board certified geriatric psychiatrists in the country. We have geriatric patients for sure, and we definitely have kids in this country. So what we're doing is expanding access to these specialists by having them available nationwide. So being a telemedicine platform, you no longer have to take time off of school, for example, to go to your psychiatrist's office. You can do it much more easily. And this goes for, like I said, for any population. And Robert, talk about the value-based care and how Takayatri is leading the way in developing a scalable value-based care model in mental health. Value-based care is very, very interesting, right? Because uh, the thesis behind it is um, it works when patients get better faster. And the better quality outcomes, um, the more successful the value-based care program is. It's been incredibly difficult to do it historically in behavioral health because you don't have an x-ray or a blood test for depression, for example. So how are you understanding how patients are improving over time? Um, so data becomes a really important piece of that. Historically, um, behavior, the costs for providing behavioral health care right, lived on um, the behavioral health insurance component, which historically is separated from physical, if you will. But all of the savings accrue on the physical side, less hospitalizations, less ER visits, if you will. So I think what we've been doing is working really closely with our insurance partners to go through that data and do matched cohorts and look at patients who are being treated by talkiatry compared to other behavioral health providers, similar conditions, similar patient populations, and measuring things like total cost of care, which includes physical spend, behavioral health spend, and medication spend. And so that's something that's historically been very, very difficult. We've seen a pretty big surge in insurance companies looking to identify these things, because historically what you find is a patient who has a chronic physical condition, think high blood pressure, for example, that's comorbid, so occurring at the same time as a behavioral health condition, the cost to treat that patient sometimes is three to seven times more than if they just had the physical condition alone. So you can see how behavioral health has a really kind of meaningful impact on the total cost of care of patients. All right, well, Georgia, Robert, it's been wonderful to talk with you both. Thanks for joining me in Floor Talk today. Thank, Thank you, you very much, appreciate, appreciate it. it.